Hello there, my friends. This is Craig, and welcome to my channel, The Atheist Experiment. First of all, I want to apologize for being late with this video installment. I intended to put out a video last Wednesday, but I encountered a new side effect that wiped me out for a couple of days. I woke up Wednesday morning after another restless sleep, and just before I tried to get out of bed around 8 a.m., I thought I would roll over one more time. Well, that took me on a whole new unpleasant trip. The room immediately began wildly spinning like a tornado, and I became instantly nauseous, broke out in a cold sweat, and felt like puking and shitting at the same time. I just laid there, immobile, waiting for the symptoms to subside, and they did after about 15 minutes. I still felt like I needed to get to the bathroom, but I was kind of paralyzed with fear that if I moved again, my body would attack me again. After a few more minutes, I mustered up the courage to try to get out of bed. The moment I was on my feet, it all started again, with the addition of my legs becoming extremely weak. My knees were buckling under me like a newborn deer as I made my way to the washroom. I made it and sat down. The room was spinning and I was in agony. When it settled again, I called out to my partner, who fortunately had not left for work yet. She had to lift me off the toilet because I had no strength left in me. A three second walk back to the bedroom took an arduous 10 minutes. I laid down and the room was still spinning. It took another 15 minutes to settle again. And I knew I had to make it to the main floor where I could be close to all the household amenities. My partner, my rock and my powerlifting hero lifted me out of bed onto my feet I draped myself over her shoulders and she took most of my weight as we made our way slowly down the stairs. She got me propped up on the couch and the room was still spinning. I was still in a cold sweat and the nausea and urge to throw up was overwhelming. It finally settled down again. She called some friends over to take care of me for the day so she could go to work. It wasn't an easy decision for her to make, but I encouraged her to go. And I can't say enough of these friends who wasted their entire sunny day to take care of me. I am so lucky and grateful for good friends, and you know who you are. I was out of sorts after that for a couple days, and I finally felt good enough yesterday to get out and get some fresh air. That was by, worst, by far the worst day of this treatment so far. Today, I feel pretty good, so I thought it would be a good time to make a video. I never know from day to day which days will be good and which days will be bad. Today is good. Today's topic will be the utter nonsense of godly forgiveness and the disregard for PTSD of the victim. And if you don't know what PTSD is, it's post-traumatic stress disorder. I was listening to a podcast a while back, and it was the type of podcast that takes calls from anyone who wants to talk about the subject of atheism, and the caller is invited to talk about it from any angle they choose. They can be supportive of the movement, they can challenge the principles of atheism, although we know there's only one principle, which is the knowledge that there's no reasonable proof for the existence of a god of any kind. People can call and just tell their stories. Some are sad, some are uplifting, and some just piss you off. Not unlike the one I'm about to tell you about. So this gentleman called in and he spoke softly and seemed very at peace in his demeanor. He told a story of what an ass he used to be before he found Jesus. He said he had gained great wealth being with lots of women and considered himself very successful. He also said he was full of rage and hurt a lot of people along the way. He said he had done a lot of very terrible things. Now he didn't say exactly what acts of cruelty he committed. 
but he made it very clear that he had done some despicable things. Then he went on to talk about how he met a guy who introduced him to Jesus. He claimed he gave himself over to Jesus and asked him for forgiveness and said he felt all the guilt and rage just wash away and he suddenly became a new man. He seemed so smug as if this was all he needed to fix all the harm he had done to others. Now we don't know what kind of harm he caused, but maybe, just maybe one of his victims lives with PTSD for the rest of their life and is never able to live a full and happy life because of something this man did to them. Maybe there are more than one victim like this. What about them? So this asshole now feels free and happy and content while his victims suffer endlessly. Fuck him and his God. Now if this God who gave you forgiveness also went around and cured all the PTSD that you caused and gave those people you hurt a happy life, then I might say, hey, there is a just and forgiving God. But we all know that doesn't happen, does it? How is it moral to pray to God for forgiveness for something you have done that harmed someone else? Don't you need to ask that person for forgiveness, not God? God allows you to be forgiven while the person you harm lives on in agony and suffering? And then you suddenly feel great and your guilt is gone because a worthless, imaginary glory hole for the mind forgave you but allowed the suffering person that you harmed to continue to suffer. You can be relieved of your shame and continue onward with your happy little life. Maybe you hurt someone again and again and again. You have now traumatized several people. Yet as long as you pray for forgiveness from God, your conscience is free and happy. Fuck you and your worthless imaginary friend. I'm sorry for the strong language, but people need to sit up and pay attention here. The cruise ship of belief in this religion leaves millions of victims in its wake, and people need to stop washing it over with apple pie and ice cream at church luncheons. It pains me to know how many people out there are suffering every day just due to their unfortunate circumstances, let alone having some predator attacking them when they are most vulnerable, just so that that predator can then go to confession and be saved? It's infuriating. And for those of you who believe in karma, you're shit out of luck too. Because sometimes assholes win and sometimes nice people suffer. That's the truth. Not everyone gets what they deserve, whether it's punishment or reward. I know that some of you are, I know what some of you are thinking. It's all part of God's great mysterious plan. We can't possibly know why God allows some to suffer and some to succeed by their heinous acts. What a cop out. I know religious people always have an answer. We just have to have faith. We just have to trust God's plan. I'm here to tell you there's no plan. Shitty people are hurting good people and we give them a pass because they are one of God's children. They need to be made to face their victims and understand the trauma they have put them through and beg for their forgiveness. And the victim is not obligated to give it to them. But you know what might happen? A victim might find it within themselves to forgive their perpetrator. And that perpetrator can then spend the rest of their lives filled with gratitude towards their victims for being so gracious. It might bring some balance for some, not all, but some. That would be a truly special thing brought on by humanity, not religion, because your God isn't doing fuck all about it. It's up to you and me. I want to make something very clear. It may sound to you like I am angry with God, but that's not it. I can't be angry with something that doesn't exist. I'm angry at the cloak of religion that covers up crimes against humanity with pretty little fables and songs of forgiveness. I'm not even angry with the people that believe this stuff. As I have heard, some of my favorite speakers like Seth Andrews, Matt Delahunty, and the late Christopher Hitchens say, and I'll repeat it because it rings true with how I feel. 
Most people are not bad people. They are just victims of bad ideas. Thank you for today. Thank you to all my listeners. And please remember to hit the subscribe button so we can continue to spread the good word. Until next time. Hey there, my friends. If you enjoy my videos and you would like to see more, subscribe. And don't forget to scroll down and hit the little bell so you can get notifications. I will be putting out a video every Sunday evening. And if you like it, hit the like button. And if you don't like it, hit the dislike button. Also, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Catch you next time and have a great week.